This is day 10 of the Oracle Shulchan Yomi. This is uh, Simon Dalin, Sif Tezain, Simon Hay, Sif Dalin. Sif Tezain and Simon Dalin. The Tilas Yadarim Shachris ain't of Lim Agave Karka. You don't wash the Tilas Yadarim Shachris on the ground. The Lord Agave ain't even kiss me nor on top of wood or um, splinters, uh, wood chips. I'll talk a Kelly specifically into a vessel. Umay Shul Tilas Yadarim Shachris also will handle some hand. The water from the Tiyasadayim in the morning, you're not allowed to derive benefit from them. I feel the name of the Behemoth officer, even the animals forbidden. They should ruach raw shorelehem because of the bad spirit which may be upon this water. But Behemoth, the Tiyasadayim, and the animal may be damaged from that. Uh, the Mishnah Bura says that uh, um, only the reason of Osir Lehenos, not the reason of the damage, but only the reason of. Also, uh, for an of course, the nafkimina would be to give it to an animal for which you have no anon, an animal that doesn't belong to you. You shouldn't spill them in the house. There are no places where people pass, again, because you should spill them somewhere where people don't walk. Uh, uh, you should not watch from somebody who didn't himself wash in the morning. Meaning, that he shouldn't be the one who pours the water on your hands. But for him to bring the water to you, that's not a problem. Girl days, when I was a young yeshiva bachur, I would do this. Um, you put, prepare a vessel with water next to your bed. Some people concerned not to leave this uh, this um, cup of water un, uh, uh, open because of gilui. Um, of course, ma'im uh, gulim is a big issue in halacha, which will come to Mitzvah Hashem at some point in the future. Um, these, uh, uh, I, I saw, I'm assuming that part of your day is part of our schedule. Um, the uh, the and on the way, Hoshim Lize, we don't, we're not concerned with this. Ki ain't you sorry, Megilui, because in general, we're not concerned with Gilui, with uh, leaving the water over cover. It makes you ain't a Hoshim Mitsui and Beinenu, because snakes don't frequent our places. Come for beer there, Simon Kufta Zain. Tess Zain. Zomach will not sleep more than 60 breaths, but Hemshech Echad in one spurt. Eliom is or Bacho Shiti Nishme. You wake up every 60 breaths. In Sukkah, um, but of Havav, it's Mavur Shilo, the Sarubize, Elabayom, the Lobalila. This is a quite this limitation was specifically on napping during the day, not on sleeping at night. The Shiro Shiti Nishme, Lo is Parishlon. Nobody knows exactly what the issue of 60 breaths is, but as you mentioned earlier, some people say it's about two, uh, half an hour. Some people say it's two hours long. And the Mishra Lacha brings down an opinion that it is three hours long. Um, so uh, the Hebrew says, uh, through a, the Mishra Lacha brings down an opinion of three hours. He brings down an opinion of half an hour. brings down an opinion of a little more than three minutes. And he says about Nefesh Yachmir, based on his capacity. Because you can be stringent, you should be stringent, but generally the custom is uh, to regard half an hour as the sheer. We're not concerned to take, to take only short naps because that's not our Madrega, and we will be fooling ourselves to say that that's the only thing we are lacking to be David Amelech. There's no prohibition to sleep that long. It's just a pathway of certain very holy people, which does not include most of us. Yurches. A person always has to be careful when he's diving, when he's eating. Not to touch the thigh or and the um, uh, uh, well, shok is a big question in Allah, whether shok is the bias is the calf or shok is the thigh. It seems that the Rosh is saying it's the calf because it says shok ye- or, or yerech, and yerech is a thought. And people who, those things are normally covered by a person. Because there are droplets of perspiration, and that is very big pollution, very big pollution. Also not to scratch your head, because then you also get sweat. And you have a mekomas of guli brosh gufo, the places which are normally revealed on your head and your body, not be concerned even with rubbing. And the gear ba'alma brosh olesabo and just touching your head is not a problem. 
Bechen yachol yikar mokom amagulish bezrosov. You also can touch the place which is open, uh, which is normally uh, uh, revealed on your arms. Mine are a perik shikorin el boingin, which means up to the elbow. With savari yachol yikar chazen, and your neck you can reach up to the uh, chest. You know them come as a mechusim. So what happens if you touch the place normally covered? Or you uh, uh, or you or you took a louse in your hand. So you close your mind. You have to wash. You rinse your hands with water. You omit big feel up. You little dirty. You ain't no your holy your coat. So you have no way to wash. Me mash me shoda because you rub your hand on the wall or bekora on a beam. The chayyot to be something similar. For chacham ain't a barosho. A wise man has his head in his eyes in his head. Shaloy v'ali they kach they will not come to this situation. If you nugga be parush shekorin fly. You touch the, the insect, which is called a fly, and I assume means our fly. Any turf the tila, you do not need to have to wash your hands. Uh, the Mishnah Bura says you should do. It's possible that it's enough to do nikoyan ba'alma, just clean your hands, which is a little bit more machmir than the Orchel Shucha. You test. In Melo Man, the tila I'm shakras even don't have water for the wash in the morning. You can echo the bit swore you should rub your hands on a stone or a floor or dirt. Or bekor or a beam, or bechol medium or anything with which you can clean. And obviously, there's a scrubbing effect in all of these things. Vivarech on the kios yadayim. They shleit the bracha, which the Russian mentioned earlier, on the kios yadayim, on the cleanliness bands. V'yol etfila. This works. You get allowed to daven. Avololu ruach levir ruach ruach shalem, but doesn't help to remove the bad spirit. Okay, she's daven lo acharkach. Therefore, if later, when later on he gets water. You tell the other shows probably we should wash his hands three times. Blah bracha. Find that say bracha. Vinei hoya ev shel varek al tias yadayim, but the little pug rabbanah. It was pretty possible in the case we had no water to make the bracha tias yadayim because we saw before opinions that little pug rabbanah said rabbanah didn't didn't draw a distinction. You can always wash say on the tias yadayim. Came Rashi to be a Rashi. This sounds what seems Rashi position. Amar Amar Rashi went to a pasuk came a forish varek al tias yadayim. So the Rashi since the Rashi and and, and Tourists say explicitly to make al kiyos and they don't say low plug. There's no distinction. Ech navora divrayim. How can we transgress their words? He said brings down Moker Abraham and says sorachim, but he doesn't go into it. Chaf. When Zeuksha wrote to this file, Ata. This is when he wants to dive in now. Oshi avor is man kriyshma, or a time kriyshma will pass. I'm going to dive in a mispalo, but if you're not yet diving, it's not yet time for your diving. Hira ira eh would seem. Lasik Maim Adzman feel that you should try and obtain water before you come to Davin. And you can make uh, all the brachas um, uh, in the morning, even before Natilas Yadaim, um, if your hands are clean. There's Yadaim is only for Kriyashma and Tfila. Vestam Yadaim. And we assume generically your hands do not are, are clean because you don't we don't make a a, a bracha for uh, I'm sorry we're not we're not meticulous to wash our hands before we make a bracha on fruit so they must be assumed to be clean. What what if you know your hands aren't clean? Don't you come and meet us so that you get it from your bed? Where you were lying naked, or some in some similar situation, where you might have touched the, the in, in unclean parts. You should not wait to make the brachas because you're lacking water. You should clean your hands with a stone. I frankly, I didn't know this. Shulchan says that you can make the brachas shachar if your hands are soon to be clean without washing them, and if they're not as soon to be clean. Just clean them with the the stone if you don't have, if you don't have water. The us the the still ask you a shame because you have any kios. Um, the um, the uh, you're not supposed to make a bracha with a uh, shame make the dead shame a shame in the name in the name of God if your hands are not clean. The Mishnah Bura says he brings that Mishnah uh, Shari Chuba name of Zohar which reads not to make a bracha without Natilas Yadaim. And if you have water, you should be machmir. And I believe that is the custom that uh, we don't make any brachas before on the uh, day because we have kalim available uh, to uh, uh, water available. Benagim lomar mode ani lefanecha melchayvakayim shechazarte binishmasi bechulei 
it's all say mo de ani beyond the kuma mikaso me when he writes red i've checked any other nikios even though your hands are not clean why this ain't bo bezer shame bikino there is no name of god mentioned in that phrase mo de ani fulecha b'chai b'chem shalazar to be in shmasi b'chemlo rabo menosecha of course the little children usually go on to reach his chachma but uh, that does have a shame Hashem, and of course adults should not say that your chess there are other things besides washing in the morning that we have to use water to um, uh, to wash. We don't need it three times. Uh, the Mishnah Bura says you only you only need three times when you rise from bed. Some people are machmir when they go among the dead or when they have relations that they also are machmir three times. The Sefer Hecha Kodesh is also machmir and when you come out of the bathroom to wash three times. But the Mugin Avram contradicts him. The, um, so the, what does the Orach HaShulchan say? The Orach says, Ve'elohen, these are those who don't have to wash three times. Ha'yotzim be'esa kisei. Somebody comes out of the bathroom. Be'yechot stechev, you should wash immediately. Uh, and the Mishnah Pura says that all these things mentioned here where you have, need a tila, you have to wash. So that you have to do it quickly as soon as possible, except when you take off your shoes and touch your feet or rub your head, because there's no, where there's no concept of ruach ra, only nikius, there's only there's no bad spirit, only, only if you go into the bathroom, uh, but the, the, there's the, uh, only cleanliness, in those cases you don't have to immediately wash your hands. So getting back to the Mish uh, Shulchan, come out of the bath, bathroom, right? Hayotzi Beis Amerchats, come to the bathhouse, Tolti Bonham, you cut your nails, Somebody who takes off his shoes with his hands, I believe that that is only leather shoes. Have a potion puts my clothes me raglov, but somebody who removes socks from his legs, ain't so until does not have to wash. The hem kashar got him like any other garment. When reg no get raglov, you know, somebody touches his legs uh, underneath his pants or whatever, uh, or, or or touches his leather shoes. But chofei rosho. And somebody who shampoos his head, ben biyad, ben ben masrek, whether by hand or by a, a comb. I guess somehow they use combs when they were. It's not really shampooing; it's cleaning out your hair. So I guess using the comb had a similar, similar status. The Asian, some people say, "Avo lech ben amesi beisakvar." So to people who walk among the dead in the cemetery, biyichot yodav kodem she spal out sham. Uh, you should wash your hands before you dive in there. Uh, so when you go in, you may say tefillos there, you should wash your hands beforehand, and also when you leave the basic first. But again, a mason, people who touch the dead. Our custom is also the people who go to Leviah, and stand within four amos of the um, stretcher or the coffin, whatever is being used. They also do Natila Siadaim, again, not necessarily three times. Um uh Nel somebody who checks his, his clothes for lice. I feel Lona Gabakina we didn't touch a louse, he has to wash. Vanogabino, somebody did touch a louse. When again Makomas Mukusim Shabgufa people touch normally cover parts of their body. Vamashamish so Mitlaso, somebody has relations. So we did any of this and did not wash hands. He tamed chachamu. If he's a tamed chacham, tamu no mishtarek is going to forget his learning. If he made a tamed chacham, if he's not a tamed chacham, then dato miskalkel. His uh, reason gets ruined as a result. And when Chazal Chazal say b'psachim kufi base, they make his dummy out. They find somebody who has blood left from the shoulders below not al yadav and didn't wash his hands. The fachet shiva yom he should be afraid for seven days. I'm galech no toyadav. Somebody who shaves and doesn't wash his hands, the fact that shloshi yomish be afraid for three days. Avam vanotel ti parnav no toyadav. Somebody who cuts his nails and doesn't wash his hands, the fact that yom echad, he was afraid for one day. Says Orach Hashulchan, ve'eni yodem imam mefachid. I ain't sure. Oh, sorry, ve'eni yodem imam mefachid. He doesn't know for what he's afraid. He just experiences fear. He doesn't know what the fear is about. See, see, uh, Simon Hay. See, Farah. This is about kavanas for brachos. What does it mean when we say, Blessed be God? 
לא שלזבור רך צריך לברך חוסיין אחד שלום, זה מין אשר קודש ברוך הוא חס ושלום דאיץ, אר פלסינס, אלא הוא כמו אור חוזר, זה כמו רפלקשן, רפלקטד לייט, שהשפיע בחוסר לנו, זה כמו ברוך הטוב, הוא צריך לפלקט את ברוך הבאק על אוס, שכמו, זה כמו ברוך הטוב. כמו שאומר דוד, כמו דוד אומר, אם שמור בייז, ומברכוס חו, יברך בייז עבדך לעולם. From your blessing, the house of your slave will be blessed forever. But you know, it's a little rare to say, and the, uh, the, the, the matter which we have to note in this, it like it says, to new oz lelo kim, give power to God. Klomar meaning, lefishim ha'asenu klum kol yoyim, it's on our deeds, everything is contingent. Lechein aleinu lesif koch, b'amal yashamah, therefore we have to give more strength. to the heavenly host, was by, by reciting the bracha, was telling that bracha alone, and then the bracha will come down to, the, to, to us, and that's that which it says, in Vodim Lama Gimel, Rochev Shomayim Bezrecha, he who rides in heaven will help you out, and Rochev and Barech are obviously related words, so our bracha brings down the Ezer from Shomayim, the help from heaven. Base. Chol bracha sa'at v'yil sa'anum da'brim e'lo v'yisvar b'losh anocheach. Whenever we talk, uh, say a bracha, we begin addressing Kosh Baruch as if we are present before him. Baruch Ata, blessed are you. Um is morim al dos yesh kamashalim Ata hu in the in the brachas and in other praise of God. So they say Ata hu Ata lelokenu, right? Which is present no 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 cheach, but second person. And you start hidden, which third person. I now move on, and this should be understood as follows: Katz Musa is Baruch. The essence of God, Nelam he called Nelam, is hidden from all that which is hidden. The God must roughly be able to find him, any of them, and even the highest angels do not know the essence of God. By his deeds, he's recognized by us and by them. When they say, that's why they say, Blessed is the glory of God from his place. Klomar meaning, they get, they understand the cover, the honor, the glory of Hashem. Vain pulos v'chol makom shem, which are his deeds wherever Hakadosh Baruch Hu activates them. Vlatz muso, but not his essence. V'zel shomrim atahu. That we say you who, meaning that atahu alklom ami atah mitzah pulos echa. Your atah, your present, we can perceive you based on your activities. Who may at muso, but you're concealed because of your in your essence. Chaim mitfil shonu b'akshim and his barakshi. I said kach v'kach. So therefore, to the Tfilos, where he asked Kosh Baruch to do something, Halom Edabrim Mitzah Pulosov, we're talking about his activities. Chayim Mim Atah, that's how we say Atah. Chayim B'chol Chomine Brachos, Kama Birchaz Danenim, and told to do all the brachos we make, such as the blessings on fruit and vegetables and food. Shavarachem Hashem Barah Peirazu, to make a bracha that he created this fruit, or Zeh Lechem Zeh, or this bread. Halom Edabrim Pulosov, we're talking about his activities. V'chein b'birchas ha-mitzvahs. So to when we make a bracha on a mitzvah. Anu b'dar mi pu lo-sav. Shit so it's v'lo no kach v'kach. To have his activities towards us. He commanded us to do these things. V'chein kol minei brachas. All other brachas. Like kamo b'birchas ha-re'iya. When we see something astounding. B'yamim we see the seas. Of naras. Or the mighty rivers. Or r'amim. Or thunder. Or brachim. Or lightning. etc. We're blessing Hashem on His activities. That's a ato in the present second tense because we perceive His activities manifesting Him in front of us. Gimel. Ikar Shmo Yisbar, the primary name of God, Hushem Havaya. It's the name Yudke Vavke. Hushem Hanforsh, and this is the explicit name which was used in the base of Mikdash. Vosalon Vizman Ezele Kor Kiksi Vosso. We're forbidden our day and age to read it as it is written. El B'Shem Alev Dal Nun Yud. Rather, his name of Adnus. He ain't alone could die until the far show of the world is not worthy of it being enunciated in our day and age. The Zeshon of Tov and Shulchan Aruch. The Tov and Shulchan Aruch says, Yechami Birchos of Peyush Hamilos. You should have in mind when you say a bracha, the meaning of the words, Shem will teach people which you are expressing from your mouth. That's Kiyo Shem when you mention the name of Hashem Yechami Birchos of Peyush Hamilos, by Olive Dalit. You should have in mind how it's read with the Olive Dalit, the Shon Adnus, which is a language of mastery. So we don't call these the master of all. Chava al peyusha b'ksibosa b'yurkei. But you should also have in mind how it's written. B'yurkei, 
which is a okay, okay, which lotion of Avaya, which is the language of existence. Shuhoya, he was, Hove, he is, be year and will be. Whereas Kira Lokim when he mentions the name of Elokim, he have a Shuhu Kakif Amitz. So you should have in mind that he is uh, powerful and brave. Uh, it was uh, uh, Amitz Koach. Asher Lo Yecholes, brave might might be more modern translation, but uh, basically the same thing, strong and powerful. Asher Lo Yecholes Be'Lelim Tachtonim, who has the powers above and below. Uh, he Kel, the language of Kel Loshon Koach V'Chozek, means strength and power. Ukmo Bes Elei Ha'aretz, like Yechezko speaks about the powerful people in the world, they are, named, they are called by the name Kel. Ulefizeh, according to this, Beis Amiras Baruch Ato Hashem, when you say the Baruch Baruch Ato Hashem on anything, Yechav Hashem Ma'in Adnus, mastery, V'Hoya Ho'ov Eviyah, was, is, and will be. Makom Shekos of Shem, Al of Dal Nun Yud, in and of itself, Kamo Hashem Sfasai Tiflach, in Yishman Esse, where it is spelled out in the Pasuk, Al of Dal Nun Yud, and not Yud Kei Vav Kei, Yechav Ein Rakshu Don Ko, all after my then is, that he's the master of everything. Yeshua, and some people say, Shekam B'Shem Avaya, some people say, which is the Groa, that we when you say the Shem Havaya, as we say it, you only have to in mind, have in mind Adon Kol, the mastery, and not the Hoya over here. Because we always go after how we say it, not how it's written. Mr. Bur adds, except for Shema. The Groa says, by Kriya Shema, the first Pasuk, when you say, by those two Hashems, you have in mind, Hoya Hova every year was is a movie, and some people add Umahava a call and sustains everything. Ukudas Hashem, the 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 vows of the word name of Hashem. Shakos of Alav Dal Nun Yud, when it's written when it's written out Alav Dal Nun Yud, who bechataf patach, it has a chosah pasach. Ah, go. Shenichs of Havaya, and when it's written as the name Havaya, Yesh Kohen Alav b'Shva. So I mean Alav as if it's a Shva. Can Ukudas say Yud Shavaya just like Yud and Havaya? Has a shva, which would be eh, do. The yesh kohen of go bechatap patach, because al b'shem al b'shem al of dal nunyut. So many people read it also then with a chatap patach, as it is uh, in the uh, uh, the when we, as when it's written al of dal nunyut. Can a minute poshut that say the cross al bechatap patach? That's the part minute is poshut to say the al as if it has chatap patach, which is ad do. These are all simple kavanas for bracha. Those who have access to the secrets of a kosh bracha, the chavni kavanas no rose. They have awesome inten- uh, uh, kavanas intentions. Because you find uh, often in Sfari Sidurim, so some great kavanas say that if you have in mind the name as integrated, that uh, you link the avaya and the as it looks in those Friday Sidurim, we know God, it's a great matter. Bein Arich Bezeh, the Roshon feels it's not necessary to spend time on that right now.